Hi everybody, uh, my name's Matt Wickham, this is Chloe and Mitchell Wickham, my, my kids. Um, we're at the um, 2018 uh, uh, Queensland camp, um, we've had an awesome time up here and um, we're just going to have a quick chat, family chat about um, preparation I guess in regards to tournaments, to training and um, just general conference of teaching. How we like cope with the stress and stuff like that. Yeah. So. Um, we all just got back from America and you know, like a teaching uh, conference. Chloe and myself did that and uh, that was a great experience for me because having so many years of teaching and then uh, relearning again, so that was really good, quite good. Chloe, how did you find uh, the course over in America? I think it's, yeah, an experience in like learning, because I've never learned much skills about teaching, so it's good learning new stuff that I noticed is that you didn't do in your classes when you were teaching me when I was younger. So it's kind of good that I was learning new skills to help me teach my classes um, quicker than what it took Dad how long to learn these skills where it took me just a couple of years. But yeah, yeah. Mm. And um, that was, uh, and, and I felt nervous as well going into this test uh, overseas and they have their criteria. But um, because I was nervous, you just got to get the courage to take that next step, you know. Um, uh, I think a lot of us will go, oh, no, I, I'm going to feel embarrassed. I'm going to feel, you know, I'm going to look bad. Most of the time, everybody's think, oh, I'm not going to do that because I'm going to look bad. Um, but I, I, I try and reverse that and think about think, making it into a positive instead of a negative uh, an emotion because people do that. Same with, like, Mitchell competing. You know, Mitchell, like, when you go to compete, people go, oh, what if you lose? You know? Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't think about it. It's, it's something that... You know, everybody loses, and you know, in a competition, you might have ten people in that competition, and one person wins. So all these other people are lost. But it's the experience. We always say to the kids, it's about the experience of um, doing something. It's the experience afterwards you get. And if you lose, you end up thinking about why did I lose? Why did I, you know, how did I lose? And then instead of going, oh man, I, I really sucked. I really did that bad. Always tell the kids to look at it, look at it as a, a positive, and say, "Look, how do I improve that particular uh, move? If I lost on a particular move, like Mitch, you know, you know, he works on techniques, and if he lost on a move, how can we make it better? So instead of making it a negative, uh, and say, oh, I, I just came lost. I'm not going to compete ever again. It's not the, the right attitude. If he loves the enjoyment of competing." then he would start working on a sort of move to try and work on that. And that's what I was saying with our, our fighters as well. Yeah, you can also apply it to teaching as well. So like after a class that you might have not had control over the kids and you're like, why did that happen? Was it me personally? That do I have to improve something or was it just the night? But mainly, most of the time, it would probably be you as an instructor. You just have to figure out what can make them focus more, their focus anchors and stuff like that, that you can use those tools and stuff and take those out. And use that for your teaching principles and stuff like that and I think that's just good looking at the positives instead of the negatives really helps without like throughout comp teaching training all these things that, that's the key and Mitchell um, when he competes for a competition so you want to tell everybody about you know what sort of prep you do I guess in preparing for a competition and your nerves and stuff like that I think before a competition you need to have a kind of vision you need to know what you want to do like um before a comp, you need to um, like have a vision of you winning. You can't um, have any doubts or anything. You need to go in there and do what you do best and just do as well as you can do. And that's all you can hope for, I guess. And you do get nervous. We all get yeah. nervous. Yeah, we all get nervous, but you just got to cope with those. Yeah. Everyone has them. Yeah. So yeah. you just got to everybody's going to be them. Everybody's going to be different on those nerves as well. So mm. some people vomit and some people get really nervous. And, and they think because that's an obstacle, but you've got to learn how to deal with that. You've got to breathe. Rechange with focus is something that um, probably about 20 years ago, I did a seminar with Randy Couture about his competition. And um, he has, um, he used to say that he had cue cards. So whenever he had a negative thought put into his mind himself, thinking, oh, I'm not good or not, you know, he used to bring these cue cards out and just read it as more of a po positive thing and saying, I am good. I can do this, and and I think I keep looking back at that as as a positive thing. And in anything, it's like oh, I'm not that good, but I'll give it a go. Mm -hmm. And um, don't think about the outcome. If you're going to look bad, 
you know, it's the experience that you get. Mm. And I always say to the kids that compete, they're actually kids today competing in Melbourne at our club, and, and uh, I always say, go and have fun, enjoy yourself, and gain the experience. And if you win, it's a bonus, all right? And then when in teaching regards to teaching as well, just uh, teach, you know, one of my old instructors used to hold back stuff. I try not to hold back. I want to teach yeah. as much as possible. And then when I start teaching, I actually in turn learn more as well. So my technique will get better by teaching. I understand the technique better. And you end up advancing more by teaching. And, and you can teach it to anyone. You could be, I have uh, young kids that keep, help out with the classes. And I can see they're improving because they're, they're helping the little kids out and improving already. So they're little coaches. So get your kids at classes coaching. Yeah. Yeah. Same with Chloe, takes all her kickboxing classes with the kids and now she's, she takes the role of that. Yeah. 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 I think that covers it. Yep, stay, stay positive. Yeah. And stay positive. Yep, Mitchell says keep a vision of the outcome. You definitely need a plan. I think the role helps too, even yeah. with teaching. And I think um, talk it out. So I talk a lot with the kids about um, mindset. So getting that off their chest instead of yeah. holding it in and get rid of it. So talk to someone. Right. Yeah. Talk to each other. Talk to your instructors. Yeah. And um, yeah. so thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you.